are looking right now. I'm off the main trail. Uh, there is some spots that I can get into, but that's about it. Did you guys find something? I heard somebody say uh, scream or something. No, I was just testing my whistle out to make sure that it was working. Okay, yo, uh, so I'm at, I'm over here at this, there's these like pine trees out here, uh, big field, it's right off that main trail uh, where we parked. I don't see anything, over. I'm out here in the middle of this and I haven't found anything either, over. All right, I'm, I'm going to keep searching the area here and then I'm going to work my way back up to you guys, over. Perfect, I'll, let me know when you get on the trail because I'm in the actual... Uh, forest here, so I gotta make my way back to the trail. Over. All right, so it looks like this area here, it looks like a lot of the trees, the pine trees are down, but there's like the preserve starts with like less pine trees over here on the left. I'm, I'm only going to go on the side of it, but I'm not going to go in, and then I'm going to circle around back up to the trail. Over. 10-4. 10-4, I'll see you guys in a bit. Be safe. You too. All right, so uh, we do have walkie-talkies. We are out here in the Rock Spring Preserve, uh, which is just north of the Wakiva Springs uh, State Park, where 31-year-old Paola Miranda was last seen December 18th, uh, wading through the waters of the Rock Springs uh, uh, River, Rock Springs Run. Where is she? Is she out here? Is she out here? Oh, uh, we got a few individuals out right here. We're, we're out here. We're actually split up. So we got uh, ham radio, walkie-talkies, um, whistles. I heard the whistle blow, and I thought maybe they found something. Uh, nothing. So I'm going to work my way over to them, and we will continue to look for Paola. Where is Paola? Where is Paola? She could be out here. Where is she?